Welcome to DRP's tutorial for data acquisition. In this session, we will go over setting the correct orientation for the internal accelerometers, receiving the configuration file, and zeroing the sensors. In order to do this, we'll need to turn on the data logger and plug the USB cable into your laptop or computer. Um, after, after that is done, open Ray Studio 3, located on your desktop. Locate the Gears tab, which is your configuration, and then hit Receive. We see here that our configuration file has been successfully received. Um, you can simply hit OK, and then open it here by double-clicking. Next, we're going to select the correct orientation of the data logger. If you notice, we have our data logger with the ports pointed to us, and the top of the data logger, which has the light on it, and DRP, is pointed to the sky. From here, we will select our inline accelerometer, a lateral, or the vertical. Um, it doesn't matter which one you select. Uh, once you change one, it changes all three. Um, our inline is our uh, longitudinal, our lateral, of course, is our lateral, and our vertical is forces pushing down on the car. So we're going to select inline accelerometer by double clicking. Here it gives us an image of the car and the orientation of the data logger. Now notice the ports are pointed towards the rear of the car and the uh, top is pointed towards the sky. So you simply click the arrows until you achieve the correct orientation for the data logger itself. Here we have selected that the ports are to the right side of the car and that the top, of course, is pointed towards the sky. Once you do this, you hit save. Once we have selected the correct orientation for the data logger, we'll go back up to the top and we will hit transmit. And what this will do is this will send the correct orientation and the configuration to the data logger itself. Now our configuration file has successfully transmitted to the data system. Um, so from here, we will hit OK, go back to All, located at the top left. We're going to click on the connected device. This, the connected device is our data logger itself. This is going to open up our download screen and our calibration screen. Once we get to this screen here, to calibrate all of our sensors, um, uh, excluding our steering and throttle, we're going to go to Auto Calibrate, which brings us to our next screen. This screen is showing all the channels that can be auto calibrated. Um, so there's no additional steps that need to be taken to calibrate the sensors. Once we reach this screen, we hit Auto Calibrate All and then we hit exit. Now that we've calibrated all of our sensors, we, re we have received the configuration file and changed the orientation um, of the data logger, we can now go to the track and begin testing. <laughs> 